Hello everyone. Welcome to UI Pass Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about send SMTP mail message activity. This session I am going to divide in into two parts. In the part one, I will show you how to send a simple mail by using SMTP. And also we will see how to send mails by using SMTP dynamically. First of all, we will see what is SMTP. UiPath have several mail activities like SMTP, IMAP, Outlook, Exchange. But here in this video, we are going to learn about how to send mails by using SMTP protocol. What is SMTP protocol? SMTP protocol stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is used for electronic mail transmission. If you want to send any mails or receiving the mails, you can do that by using SMTP protocol. Now, we'll see how to create an email automation process in this session. First of all, we'll go to the process. I'm going to give it as email automation process. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, with description, I'm going to give it as a blank and the long way that I have selected as VB and then I'm going to create a new process. In this session, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to send a simple mail. Okay, how can I go ahead and do that? Where I can find these emails? If you see under app integration, you will find mail. Under email, there's a lot of groups, as I said, Exchange, IBM Notes, IMAP, Outlook, POP3 and SMTP. Now, if you expand SMTP, there one activity that we have that is send SMTP mail activity. By using this activity, we're going to send a mail, you know, statically by using all the data, we'll show you how to send all the mails to the particular user by using your past studio. Now, let me go to the project. Now, I have created a process, right? So we are having main.xml. Let me open that. As a first step that what we are going to do, we're going to use send SMTP mail message activity to send mails by using UiPath. Let me drag and drop onto the panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties of send SMTP mail message activity. If you see on my right hand side that you are having all the properties related to this activity, one is attachments. If you want to send any attachments in the mail, then you are going to use attachments. If you're having the collection of attachments, then you will use attachment collection. Now, the common properties that we have, display name, that what is the name that you want to, you can see over here by default we are having, send SMTP mail message. And you can see the timeout MS, nothing but within how much time that you want to timeout. In the sense, MS is nothing but milliseconds that you are going to give it in the milliseconds that in some cases only that we'll use this one very rarely. Okay, and if you see the body, in any mail that we are having to CC, BCC, subject and the body, correct? This is the body related to the email and the below one is the subject, okay? And if you're going to forward mail, in that case only that you are going to use mail message. This option only used when you are forwarding messages, mail messages. And if you see, there are the host that is port number and the server. I will explain you these two things when I'm going to do at the real time, okay? On the logon, what is the username that you want to send it by using logon username, that is email ID, logon password. And also, if you see the options, ease body HTML. This will be used when you are having your body having HTML kind of code coding that you're going to use at the time, you're going to use ease body HTML. And if you see the secure connection, that we're having different, different types of secure connection. You can see auto, SSL related, start TIS, start when available, start TIS when available. So by default, I'm going to use auto. And also, as I said, in the emails, you can use two CC BCC, carbon copy, black carbon copy that you will use this or the, you know, to send the mails to the particular email ID. And from the sender related details, you can see from and the name of the, the particular sender. Now, what we are going to do, I'm going to use simple, I'm going to send a mail to the particular mail ID. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, let me show you that. In the two, I want to send a mail saying that, 
hi you are selected i want to just say in the body how can i go ahead first of all we required email id i'm just going to give my email id bosha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com and then the subject i'm just going to say congratulations you are selected i'm just going to give this kind of subject related to the interview letter hume and the subject and the body i will say is in the body dear basha we are very happy to inform that you are selected in interview i just want to give this kind of message to the particular person that is two in the two that have mentioned basha.amir86 that is the email id and the subject says congratulation you are selected and you can see this whenever you are going to say over here the values are required argument was not supplied you can see the error over here that is nothing but you have to provide log on email related information as well as the port related information also now first of all i will give the email id from which email id that you want to log in that i will say my email id i have newly created learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com okay and the password for the password related i will give you some more activity over here for for the time being you know keep in mind this password and after that you can see the sender related information the sender is who the same email id that i'm going to use it over here also i'm going to say from related okay and then the name i will say is my name over here the sender name amir basha okay now you, you can see the secure connection i'm going to keep it as auto and is body html no i don't have any html kind of data as of now in the html related coding related that you are going to send it in that case that you are going to use this is body html html the body having any html kind of tags that you are having it in that case you can use this one and after that you can see the body dear basha we are happy to inform that you are selected in interview okay and i don't have any attachments i will show you the attachments also and then the port number server and the password first of all we will go to the password so the password related we have to write the password over here so the password is very confidential right so that what we are going to use we are going to use another activity that is called get password you can see under environment under environment you are having get password let me drag and drop the password and if you see the password over here i'm going to type my password that is related to the email id and then the result i'm going to store it as in the variable that is control control k set uh, i will say set password and then i'm going to click on enter now what are the get password set password as a variable we got it i'm going to pass it the same password over here in this port okay now the password location what i have to give set pwd now our bot is almost all ready but the port and the server details is required how can i get the ports and all this information now if you see i'm going to use gmail as my logon that is email and the password okay now let me go to you know google and then just i will say gmail smtp details smtp server details i'm going to search it for that and then let me click on that you can see over here i'm going for the support google let me open that and you can see all the related information related to the smtp one is you can see over here what is the port number 465 is the port number and the server you can see smtp.gmail.com you can copy that and then i'm going to give the port as 465 that is the id that what we got it and then the server details in the double quotes i'm going to give smtp.gmail.com now i can send the email to the particular user let me go ahead let me run the bot 
Now, before going to run this bot, I will tell you one thing. We will get an error related to the one of the security. I will show you how to resolve that issue also. Now, let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now, if you see error, you will get this kind of error that is send SMTP mail message 5355.78 username and password not accepted. Uh, learn more from this URL, right? That is nothing but you have to give some additional details or you know you had to go ahead and in the security you have to provide some of the details over there some of the actions you need to do at the gmail side what are the actions now let me go to my gmail this is my as i just shown you learning technologies 2020 is my gmail now what are the things that we need to do go to the manage your google account and then you can see the security tab over here click on the security tab and then if you see there are the first thing here two step verification also please make it off to make you understand so keep this two step verification also off another one you are having less secure app access that you have to make it on over here so how can we go ahead and on this turn on this access and then you can see allow less secure apps off now i'm going to make it on that's it that is the security now now the process has been completed or not i will add one message box by dragging message box over here and i will simply say mail sent successfully now let me save the bot and then let me run the bot now you can see the process execution has been started and mail has been sent successfully now let me click on ok now what I will do, I will go for the mails. So for which mail that I have sent it? For the bosha.amir86, right? Now you can see the mail. I have just received the mail saying that you can see the subject over here. Congratulations, you are selected. And you can see, dear Basha, we are very happy to inform you that you are selected. And now let me go to the sender email and let me go to send. And you can see the mail also over here that it has been sent successfully. This is how we are going to send the mails by using SMTP protocol. In the next session, I will show you how to send these mails dynamically in the part two. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.